of the box. To the side there's some pertinent info should you need it, but first of all we've got the manual which is in English, so that's a good start. There's also an included solar panel, although there seems to be no way of fitting it to the motor, which is a bit strange. There are two sets of cables for powering the device or recharging the internal battery, and as you can see we're still in micro USB territory, which isn't terribly surprising for a budget device I guess. Next up is the motor itself, which certainly feels quite solid and hefty. We'll look at the motor in more detail a bit later. Another extra besides the solar panel is an included RF remote control, which is definitely a bonus even if it's not exposed to HomeKit as such. It's also nice that it comes with two AAA batteries. The final parts are for connecting the motor to your curtains and your curtain rail or rod. So this first pair are for curtain rods only, and should fit rods up to 28mm in diameter. You also get two pairs of arms, for want of a better description, that are designed for U-Rail curtain tracks, and it's great that they've included two separate sizes as you can see here, although I don't know the size specs on these. The final pair of parts are for I-Rail curtain tracks, so with all these options I think most people are going to be covered. Let's have a closer look at the motor, and as already stated, it doesn't feel like it would easily fall apart. The top has a rubber wheel that sits up against the curtain rod or rail to move itself and your curtains. This top portion is removable if required. You do get on-device buttons to control the motor directly, although as it's possibly going to be high up and behind a curtain, I'm guessing this is only of use in emergencies ultimately. I guess if there's an issue with controlling it in HomeKit, then the remote control is also going to be useful in these cases. So as you can see here the wheel is moving when I press the open button, when I press the close or stop buttons, just so you can see the motor in action. It is quite quiet, although once it's pulling curtains the motor may well be a little noisier. In my case I'm using a curtain rod, so I just need to fit the pair of connecting arms which simply click into the adjustable side holders. If you need to remove these arms to start over, a small screwdriver will do the trick by just lifting the teeth that grip the arms. With the motor fitted you can see that the wheel isn't quite gripping the rod, so you just need to make the fit a little bit tighter. These side holders are spring loaded, so even if the grip is a little tight, they'll adjust accordingly. This is gripping nicely now, so you can see in principle how the motor works with the curtain rod. I just need to add the curtains next, so you get the full picture. But this gives you a good idea of how it works in principle. 